What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders and today we are going to be taking a look at Rashad Bateman and I'm going to make a bold call here. Uh, this is a, I guess a fantasy football call but I'm expecting a Rashad Bateman breakout game coming and I'm going to show you exactly why I know you guys it's a lot like Odaf AOA you know both first rounders same draft class guys that you know are getting close getting open getting the ball not making the plays we want to see them but always making strides we're going to take a look at that tomorrow bateman also making strides and i'm going to show you why um so we're going to take a look at all five of his targets um here we are early in the game oh and of course go ahead hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here you guys know the drill so here you're going to get two deep shots right off the rip and so this one obviously doesn't connect uh lamar's looking for this one deep it went deep out to the right out of the sideline um i'm wondering if he sees the safety he can't really look him off so the safety's cutting on it i don't think he has much of an open window um he's basically got to throw a dot right on the sideline so I, it's almost seemed like a throwaway it was so off target um but the key here that i want to take a look at is bateman's uh, route so you're going to see him come up and do basically like this do one of his stops get the DB to commit to him, and then his acceleration passed him. So as you get Bateman stepping up right here is when he starts to break down. And as he does, you can see the corner break on it. And this is where, if you're throwing this, you'd ideally want to get the ball coming out as he's working past him. And that's exactly what Lamar does. So just to be clear, um, you know, as he breaks, corner stops, you can see right here, Lamar's already got the ball cocked going out um, with the tackles, giving up some space there. Um, as he does, Bateman starts to accelerate past. Unfortunately, the ball isn't connected, but that ability to down downshift his gear, that's the stuff that we saw from Bateman as a prospect that made a lot of folks very excited. So let's run it through one more time. So you see that downshift, get the corner to commit, blow past him. Um, so, you know, this is the type of stuff, these deep shots that we want to see going to Bateman outside as the X receiver which is what he is here. He's lined up on the line of scrimmage, and then you got OBJ in the slot and Zay is the Z. This is what I want to see from the wide receiver group. I want to see Bateman and Zay outside with OBJ in the slot, and this is what I think it can look like. So if teams are going to adjust and play the run, so for example, if one of these safeties are stepping up and you're getting a cover one look, that's going to be a lot more open, and this is the type of shots the Ravens need to make them pay, and that means both good throws from Lamar, which we know he's capable of, and we need good routes and good catches from Bateman which I think he's going to be able to do um, so we'll get into the next deep shot here because his only two incompletions in this game were both on deep shots which I think is interesting in and of itself the fact that they were trying to push the ball downfield to him so this one's going to be in the end zone oh I lied we're not at that other one yet this is going to be the comeback out of their own end zone um, this is just you know again good route showing that upshift downshift right there comeback route open catch short of the sticks but that's okay um good good route good throw good stuff there from bateman here we get a little bit deeper Let's see if i got my clips in order now yeah there's the other deep shot and so this was just a basic speed release and it was darn close i mean he's gonna basically corners playing soft shoe um press so what soft shoe is is when he's aligned and press but he does a soft release rather than hitting his hands at the receiver and trying to play him so he's gonna take outside leverage bateman just speed releases inside and you know blows past him he's getting separation here you can see that arm going up inside and as he did that lamar's already got the ball up it just needs to be a little bit tighter because he's got a little step on him there. Um, so, you know, this is where I want to see better chemistry between these two. But again, Bateman getting open on that deep shot. That would have been a tough catch. Um, I think it's against Witherspoon. He caught up to him uh, or the corner caught up to him. So, but again, same concept, right? Making those deep shots. So seeing that speed release, seeing Bateman be able to get deep. That's the encouraging stuff we want to see. This is one of the, yeah, this is probably the key and why I think you should be excited about Bateman. Um, so this is, he's not the primary read. Lamar is going to open reading to the right side of the field here. He's got his check down on this side as well. Um, but as 
you get a little improvised route here from Bateman. So he's going to turn inside, but he sees the zone. Uh, so he sits back inside to where he was coming from to create a little space. You see right there, he's going to curl and then work his way into the soft spot of the zone, which in and of itself is good. Lamar sees that and releases. You got the triangle right here of zone coverage. He's got to work around that. He does. He throws it the one spot. Bateman can catch it. Um, that's a tough extension. He's got both hands up. He's got to secure that. Not an easy catch. He does it, squeezes both hands, brings it in. Um, this is the type of ball that, you know, based on the drops earlier, you'd probably be concerned about. Um, but, you know, getting open, finding the soft spot in zone. Great throw by Lamar to throw it to really... With where this defender's dropping, there's not really anywhere else to throw this ball. So he put it in the one spot. His guy could get it, and Bateman had to make a play. And to his credit, he did. Um, obviously, well past the line of, or the first down marker. So there's a first right off of that. And then we get the last play here. You guys would have seen this this morning in my Linderbaum video. It's just going to be a little drag route. Bateman's going to come across, and all we want to see is these sticky hands. Again, another ridiculous throw, <laughs> throwing it around Bobby Wagner. Look at the arm angle, coming out as a sidearm, thrown again where only his guy can get it. Bateman's got to make a play. You see him squeeze it there, roll around onto it. Um, so, you know, I'm telling you, I think a Bateman breakout game is coming. Those deep shots are going to be there, similar to what we saw early last year. Uh, you know, the Jets game, the Miami game, what he was able to do when he was given those deep shots. It's just a matter of time. Uh, so drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Am I, am I sipping on the hopium here or am I onto something? I want to hear from you guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this breakdown and subscribe so you don't miss more coming this week. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.